Hello everyone. Thank you for watching the replay. I'm glad you're here with me tonight. Hey, this is step three in our process. So I've already made two other videos for you guys. The first step is fuzzing it and I talk about how to fuzz it and why that's important. The uh, second step is to paste and I talked about how to paste it and how to take care of your chalk paste and all that good stuff. So this one is step three, and this is about washing and taking care of your transfers. So we made this cute little um, uh, board out of a chalk, our chalk paste and our, our chalk couture transfer uh, to use for a party that's coming up for me. I'm getting ready for all that, so I thought it would be good to make these videos uh, to help everyone. So the last thing you need to do, which I didn't do on the last video, is to obviously put the lid back on your chocolate paste and keep it from drying out. Okay, if you need to know how to revive a uh, chalk paste that's gotten um, hard, do go to my go to the last uh, video, step two. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you down and we're actually gonna wash it. So once I got done with my um, pasting my, my design on my board, I just threw the stuff in here uh, to get it so it could wash off pretty easy. So this was our mini squeegee, super easy to wash and clean. You just take some water. Everything, the, our paste are water soluble, so they're super easy to clean off with water. So if you get some on like your table or your clothing, just take some, uh, you know, just get some water on it and get it cleaned up. Okay, I'm gonna move this out around out of the way. And I'm going to show you, you know, the first part of it is to fuzz it. So if you have fuzz left on your, your backing, basically you're just going to take it and wash it off, okay? And this helps get your transfer reusable for next time and gets it sticky. So remember, any time that you, uh, if you're working with a transfer and it actually sticks to each other, just put it back in, in water and that deactivates the stickiness. And then once it's dry, the stickiness will come back, okay? Uh, all transfers are good eight to 12 times. They're flexible, they're bendable. Um, you can put them on basically any, almost any surface. I'm gonna say that it could be uh, chalkboards, it could be a dinner plate, it could be um, glass. I mean, you name it and you can do it. So I'm just going to let this dry, and it really takes just a couple minutes to, to dry uh, our transfers. But once that's done, what we're going to do is actually put it back on the backer sheet. And this is the, the sheet that it actually comes on. And there's a dull side, and there's a shiny side. Okay, girls? So you want to remember to always put your transfers on the shiny side. And just remember, everyone in my group is shiny. So that kind of will help you remember uh, to to put your transfer on the shiny side. If you put it on the dull side, you'll know because um, it will stick to it, okay? Uh, I think this is pretty dry. So I'm just gonna put it back. It's on the shiny side. I put the sticky side down and there you go. It is all ready for the next time I can use it. So I can actually take this, if I wanted to make a t-shirt out of it, I could uh, take and use ink. Our ink is actually um, washable, okay? So I could actually throw it in the, the laundry and be able to have me make my own, very own chalk couture t-shirt. Um, so our products are so versatile and so easy, but really all you need to get started with chalk couture is a transfer, okay, chalk paste, and a mini squeegee, okay, it's so economical to get started, and you can use the surface at home, okay, if you have an old canvas that you, this has been lying around, paint it, and let it dry, and then start, start, put your design on, okay, so, so easy, so simple, um, if you're interested in learning more tips, uh, I do projects uh, weekly, I do giveaways, I do sample kits, and all my VIP group, and I would love to have you guys. Uh, so just type in VIP and I'll get you the links. Uh, if you want to shop, and you just type in shop, and I'll give you a link to my, um, my shopping area. If you would like to join as a designer, 
and want to know more information about that, just type in join and I'll get you the link for that. So uh, I appreciate you joining me. And if you want to know more about the three steps, uh, look for the other videos. Step one is fuzzing. Step two is pasting. And step three is washing it. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.